Hello, Sim friends, and we have a new round of architect homes. Um, I usually like to get things to get these things out like earlier, but I was late because I've I've had school. Um, anyways, um, here is the first house, and they have a really nice garden out back. Where you can see all of the trees and the plants. And it looks real nice. Real nice back here. Um, except for the flowers can attract bees. And who would want that? But hey. In Simville, there is no bees. So as we go down into the house. You get this. You get that, um, that door. And then, as we go inside, this house is filled with newer items, and so, so that's good. And the appearance of the house out front and the structure of it is really nice. Um, it makes for an interesting shape of the house, which which I really like. Um, and then you come upstairs, and, and we have a villa bed. We have um, a closet, which looks nice. And then, you know, and then um, a bathroom. That's a private bath. And then we have the room with the stairs. And it comes into um, a sitting room, it looks like. And then we have another bed. And, and then we have those um, sh shades, I guess they're called. I don't know. It's the rose gold things. And then up here we have the farmhouse bed. And and we have a piano, a white piano. We have another bath. So and this farmhouse bed room has its own ensuite. The layout is okay. And here we have this house. Again, the structure of it and the appearance of it is very nice. Um, it looks like a very neat, modern home. Which that car doesn't exactly go with this home. That, that car, it belongs to nobody's home because it's too ugly. Anyways, you have this doorway. And we have the villa items in here. You have that plant with the pink um, trim around it. We have uh, the, the Scandi... The Scandi counter tops. And then we have um, a king size bed. And over here in this hallway, that's the stairway that leads upstairs. We have a bathroom right here, a very big bathroom. That's a big puppy. Um, and then apparently I didn't know what room I'm on, so. And then over here we have some lavish couches, some fruit, a shelf with books, a plant. We have a movie theater in here which is nice 
And then we have a bedroom. You know, that's right next. You know, that's right next to it. Um, I'm not really getting a good view of it. It has a crib in it. It's a small bedroom. Has a crib. Okay. And then we have this room with the farmhouse bed. I'm thinking about buying that online pack that has those new beds. Because they're really pretty. Um, we have some exercise equipment. And we have <coughs> what appears to be an office. And next to that office, we have what looks to be like an art room. And then here's uh, this house. If y'all can tell me where this fence is from, I would love to know. Uh, so leave me a comment if you know where that, um, where that fence is from. Because I don't want to have to build this home a million times to get that fence. Because I like that fence. It's really pretty. And then when you get inside, we have that door with the wreath that looks like. It's really gorgeous. And then, you know, and then we have that big old carpet. That house, y'all, this house is full of inventory. That couch, um, I think it might have been in an online pack because I didn't have it in my inventory. Nor that fence. I like that fence. Um, this one is the one that's mainly filled with inventory. Um, you have some nice things in here. Including rugs, um, and, you know, and dressers. Um, this is really nice. I like this house a lot. In fact, you know, I've already either built it because of my one in the fence. And, but I might do a remodel of it. I don't know. If you're interested in seeing a remodel, uh, then leave me a comment. But this house is very nice. Um, I'm glad it's not a death trap you like the other houses. And here is this house. This looks like a grocery store on the outside, but um, but in the back is you know a nice garden. So we go inside. I think we've had this house before a while ago. Um, you have the lofted items in here, and then you have those. Um, you know, like the counter. Tops, I um, I forgot where they're from. And and then we have a little room right there, a little bedroom. That's tiny. Damn, that is tiny. And then you had a bathroom. Um. You have the couch and everything. And this one up here is a loft. And you have an office right here and a bathroom. And 
thinking of the king size bed right there. And here is this house. This house is pretty. I don't like the pink exterior. And that van bus just has to go. Um, but let's see if there's anything worth it in here. Um, we've got some plants out here. Um, and some more plants in those stands. And then you have a table out there and that spa. Here's, a, and then here's a basement, washroom. And then up here, we have, um, there's these fridges in every room. And I don't know if they're, if they're new or if they came with, a, you know, with an online pack, um, but, you know, but I'm going to build this house and see because, because it looks to me like there's some inventory in here that's real nice. So just pay attention to what you have in your inventory and see if this house would be worth, worth the building for you. Um... And you have some shelves over there. I can't tell which kind they are. It's like 2 a.m. here. <laughs> um, and then here we have another bath. These rugs are really pretty. You know, the rugs that are in the bedrooms. They're really pretty. There was one house that had like pink um, or salmon uh, colored um, like, chase lounges, and I forgot what home that it was in, I, I, you know, I want to say, but, oh, yeah, right here, um, I don't think I have those in my inventory, And I like those. They're really pretty. And again, you have the fridges. Um, all the bedrooms are the same. And then you have that chase lounge right there. On the outside. So, so in terms of inventory, this house is nice. In terms of layout, I think it's a little bit weird. And here is the last house. Um, this is a big one. This is a doozy. And so here is the front, and it looks nice, you know, it has the fountains, um, it's very simple. And here's the basement over here. Um, so you have, like, all the wedding gear down here. Um... So this seems like a wedding place. 
and then not a house so much. Um, up here you get the dining room table. It's goth, so it, it's kind of like it doesn't really go with the light tones of this home. And then we have that big rug right there. Um, we have that round table with that stuff on it. We have the harp, the French event items, per usual. Um, I'm not seeing anything that's sticking out right now. But again, uh, do a check on your inventory. Ooh, those pink pots. Have I, have I got those in my inventory? I need, um, I need to check. Looks like I'm going to be building some architect homes. And then you have some toddler toys. And then up here, um, is, you know, some more shit. And then here are bedrooms. So, so up here is like a hotel. I mean, like, this looks like the hotel part. It's pretty. Very pretty. I get that big bed right there. I don't remember what event that's from, though. And then up here you have more bedrooms. You have some smaller rooms that looks like kids can go in there or s single adults, you know, whichever. There's, there's like a computer lab right here. You can kind of like, you know, like a work station. That wall hanging right there. I can't tell what it is. It it looks like leaves, but I. So overall, um, these houses are better than what we have had. They're not trashy, and they're not. Um stupid overall like a lot of these houses that we've had um these houses that we have in this round are are nice um they have some inventory in them uh, you know i know that i've already shot the inventory um and and a lot of these houses have really nice shapes to them and they look nice on the outside. Now, are these houses worth it? I would say for a few of them, they are worth the expensive price. On, um, only because of the inventory. Now, now, for the houses, I don't have much inventory but you're a brand new player, then absolutely these houses are worth it. If you're an old player and you have everything, then, um, you know, then there is no need, you know, to spend the money. 
Because these architect tomes, I ain't gonna lie, they are expensive. I mean, I mean, these houses are ridiculously expensive. But, I mean, but overall, they are good architect homes in this round.